Hi, this is a demonstration of Elasticsearch on Kubernetes hosted in Google Cloud environment. We have a Kubernetes cluster of three nodes having three CPUs and 11 GB of RAM. This is a quick start guide to deploy Elastic on Kubernetes. So let's get started. So the first step is to install the CRDs with the RBAC roles. Though here we have the YML where the custom resource definitions of uh, APM, Elasticsearch, Kibana, Elastic Operator, the stateful set, namespaces, service accounts, and webhooks, so on and so forth are provided. So let's go ahead and install this in our environment. So here all the CRDs are getting installed and we have the service accounts created and it's done. So we can monitor the logs. Currently I'm not going ahead with that and let's deploy our Elasticsearch cluster. So it's a 7.6.2 cluster and uh, having one node and these are some of the configuration files. Okay, so it may take some time by then let's check what are the other things which can be done with the quick start. So we can just get the health of Elasticsearch cluster and get to see what is the status of the pod by giving the absolute path and the logs then we check what is the service which is running and we take the credentials and the default username would be elastic and we can access the elastic search cluster from the kubernetes with the command below and we can do a port forwarding and access it in a separate terminal from our local machine So currently our pod is running. Now let's check the service and we have our service created as well. So now to get the credentials we have this particular command where the password would be put in the variable password and with this we can connect to our Elasticsearch cluster and check whether it's up and running. So currently I'm just using the port forward option to see the status so this is the service and the port is being forwarded to 9200 I'm just going to cancel it and run it in the background so that I access my console and I'm going to use this command to check whether my Elasticsearch service is running and we have our Elasticsearch running so quickly let's deploy our Kibana as well so the steps are the same first you just deploy your Kibana with the defined configurations and then you check whether the Kibana is up then check your service then port forward and then access it with your local host 5601 so I'm just checking whether the pods are getting created so this is the elastic search pod which is running and this is our container which is being created okay so the pod is running let's check the service once so we have our kibana service running as well so let's do the port forwarding of 5601 and just let's try to connected from outside so the port is forwarding I'll just put the process in the background and now I'll open another window HTTPS localhost 5601 it doesn't work so what we need is a load balancer for us to access this particular service from outside so for that let's check what is so we have to just expose the kubernetes give the pod name and the type as load balancer and the port number so here we have uh, we are going to expose the kibana service i'm just going to make a copy of this and uh, this particular pod i'm going to delete and i'm going to 
put my Kubernetes pod. So this is the name of the pod of Kubernetes. I'm gonna just paste it here and the port is 5601. So this command would expose my particular pod and the type would be load balancer and the port to 5601. So whenever you expose a pod with the load balancer, a new service would be created. So let's check whether it's created. kubectl get services. So the load balancer service is created and it's still yet to assign an external IP to it. Yeah, so we have a external IP here. I'm just going to copy this particular IP. Okay, so we have this particular link. I'll just proceed. And you see the Kibana is loading right now. So by the time Kibana loads, let's go to our cloud shell and take out the password. So we have already assigned the password to a variable called password. So let's echo the password, password dollar p a s s w o r d. So this is our password for the Kibana to log in. So we have the window open. So the username would be elastic and the password would be the one which I just copied. So here I'll be able to log in to the Kibana using the load balancer. So our Kibana is loaded. You can try with your own data or try with the sample data set. So this is about Elasticsearch and Kibana installation on Kubernetes on Google Cloud Platform.